now I know how I'm going to fix the rear quarter panel around this window line and I have a good fixing point there. There'll be simple bracketry that joins it to the sill. So I just need to figure out how the back part is going to be. <coughs> This weld line is visible on the left and right side of the car. I'll fill it now the best I can, so when everything's on the car, it looks like the natural body line. I've managed to get the bulk of the filling done, so I've added a bit more to this point and also around this rim to bring it out to the same distance as the driver's side. So now I'll just do a final trim, I'll do loads of measurements, I might take a slight layer off the outside still, but um, it's almost ready to put some carpet on. I am two weeks into this front bumper. Today I'll just take any of the rough bits off so it's easier to apply the car body filler and then we'll get that on and just build up a few layers so it's strong enough to start sanding.
Another quick update on this front bumper. I can't remember if it's the third or fourth week on doing this shaping, but I'm almost ready to start putting some primer on and getting a finer detail on the bumper. This is a more recent idea of just bringing the top bumper line around the shape of the badge. Once the bumper is made up, then it will be trimmed really neatly and it will be a much tighter line up around the top of this piece here. I have a little more filling to do and then I will get some primer on the car. So I've just finished up getting the deep scratches out with 240 grit. So now I will clean it all up and I can put some primer on. Next I'll go around with a tack. Next up, I'm going to go over the car with 320 grit. This is just going to be a light layer because I'll go over it with 600, then 1200, and then we can apply the wax. second layer of wax is applied, so the next thing to do is to put the PVA release agent on. So I put this layer of PVA release agent on this morning and it's still tacky, it hasn't dried in about 10 hours so <laughs> yeah it's quite cold at the moment yep we're dry enough now to put the gel coat on The gel coat is now dry so I can start the fiberglass layer to make the mould. First layer on, I'll probably do another couple of thicker layers to get some strength into this mould. So I'll wait until this layer dries and then we'll continue. I will continue doing work at the back of the car because if I start doing fiberglassing layers on this front bumper now then the fumes over the day will be unbearable in this tent so that's why I'll save the fiberglass to the last job. There are a few adjustments I want to make to the back of the car. 
to start with I'll take all the panels off the lights out and then I'll do some final measurements because if I need to adjust anything at the back end before I put these quarter panels on now is the time to do it car together on the spit somehow I've managed to make the gap between the lower part of the rear on either side slightly different so there's a slight angle I did think because the floor is uneven um, it might have been partly compensating for that but I do need to make some adjustments to make it look perfect I'm going to cut this weld line all the way around to the rear part of the door almost around the side so then I can just take some material off to drop it down this side down to make it even to the near side I think it's worth doing it now before I put all the body kit on so I can get it perfectly level before I set ultimately set it up on the coilovers and get all the suspension geometry perfect <laughs> I have made the cut and just tacks it in place with the correct height either side so it's perfectly even. I will test fit the boot to make sure the boot line still fits okay after the top part of the shell has been twisted slightly and if the boot did fits fine then I'll continue and weld the entire seam back up. getting the Peugeot shell perfectly level at the back on top of the Subaru chassis so once I've finished doing the fabrication on the rear quarter panels to fit the arch extensions then I can treat this again and reseal it. <laughs> about wraps things up for the mold so I wait for this to dry about 24 hours and it should be cured and I'll um, pull it from the car and I'll see you on the next one <laughs>